hello and welcome back guys and today we are going to see how to read write and append your files with the use of file handling so first of all we'll be creating our files uh, with the help of our code so by default if you open your files in the write mode it will automatically create this file so first of all i will create this file i'll write something into that that file and then i'll retrieve it to read it out then i'll try to do a few more explanations for that so first of all let me take a file handler so as you guys have started that we need a file handler to deal with our files so i'll write f equals open and i'll pass on the file name let's just name it f1.txt right and i'll open it in the w mode which basically means in the write mode so once i've opened the file in the write mode what i'm going to do is um i'm going to look for maybe maybe I want to take five inputs right so here what I'll do is I'll take a list I'll take an empty list I'll write I E so suppose A equals an empty list and for that what I'm going to do is I'll write uh, B equals to input right and plus right slash n and the reason I'm doing this is uh, because I'll tell you in a while so once you've done this uh, I'm going to append this into my list so I'll write a dot append and into my list I'll append this out right so I'll append my b into my e. once this is done I will write f dot write lines this will particularly take an iterable like your list doubles whatever it is and it will um, write it into your file so here I'll just pass on the list start with my a and finally I'll close my file so I'll write f dot close right so now I'm going to run this code and see what happens right first of all you can see in the runtime it has automatically created this file right so the file is empty as of now so as soon as I enter five entries you're going to see that uh, it has been written into that particular file so I, first of all I'll write Hello, this is Bazan from Perfect Plan B, and this is a tutorial on files. Right. So, once I've done this, if I go back and you can see what has happened is. Uh, I have successfully written everything into a new line. So hello, this is Fazan from Perfect Plan B and this is a tutorial on files. Now this is the reason why actually I have um, given this slash n. So I'm just adding slash n after every input. If I don't add slash n what will happen is let me just show you in the code uh, what will happen. Let's just look through only two times uh, because I don't want to give so many outputs again. Oops sorry for the plus. So now uh, I'll just write we are all from E to V, right? And uh, this is what I've written into the file. If I go back and you can see that it has started right up here where we left. And this is not a very practical looking way, right? So that is why for that reason I have done that uh, slash. Now one thing you, you might have noticed is that the moment I uh, reran my code, everything that was present inside my code got deleted, right? So that means that whenever we are opening a file in the write mode, it will delete any previously existing data. Now to handle that, we can uh, use append mode, right? So what append mode does is it starts um, appending your files after your execution. So whatever you are having till here, after this point, it will start. Now since I know that there is something existing, what I will do is I will just uh, copy this slash in here, right, I will just add the slash in at the beginning, right, so that there is no sort of issue with that, right, and now I will just append something, so instead of range of 3, let's take 3, right, I will be giving 3 inputs, let's say 2, two, two some numbers, I'll write any random thing, write any random thing, 
and I'll write CMD with Python, suppose. So if I look back now, you can see everything has been done in a new line now. Right, so even the data that we had didn't get deleted. So that means append what it is doing is it is starting right where you have left, right? And the reading mode, what your reading mode basically does is it will only read it, right? And the reading mode is very well explained in the course itself. So you can look into that. So if you're just reading it out, that means you're just uh, reading the contents of the file. Now, there's one more way to do your uh, inputs into your file. So let's also try that. So here we have used write lines and instead what we'll do is dot write and suppose here I'll pass the string this is a string slash n and we are learning files so this also you can do so if you look back here uh, this is a python this is a string and we are learning files right this also you can do and uh, regarding the read mode also i'll show you once how to use that right so after you are uh, reading your files or even before writing your files everything can be treated as a string so you can apply string functions to that so in the read mode I'll just uh, write r equals to f dot read and if I just print out r you can see that all the contents will be given out right sorry I've accidentally printed out f so I will write r here and you can see all the contents are given out right so this will basically have it index by index the other way you can use this you can use read lines it will um, return you the list of all the lines that you're having so every line will be separated by an element so this is how you deal with files and uh, that's it for the this session right and i'll see you guys in the next session please take care and bye bye